y'all know about speakers, yo? It's that time of day. It's that time of the week. We are playing frame rates. All my frame rates. What you talking about? Frame rates. Frame rates. Rates of frame. Kit Boga. You know what? No, 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 no. Kit Boga. Kit Boga. Kit Bo Thank you. Yeah. Come on. Look, Boga. Yeah, I, I reviewed the uh, the Jedi Boy uh, footage. Um, very quiet. So uh, in the future, I'm gonna try and uh, stream louder, stream harder, stream faster. Um, big question I'm gonna get right now is. Am I going to remaster the audio for the YouTube upload? Maybe. Haven't decided yet. Not at that point in time yet. That'll be tomorrow. That'll be a tomorrow thing to do. Tomorrow. Or very late tonight. Hollow plan. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Four. Weren't you gonna have a curry yesterday? Chill. A ghost took my money. This is augmented, I know. I want a shop. I want I want to ship. Oh, shop. Six hundred. Sure, why not? Is that it? Is that my holo plan? Let's go. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Blah! That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where, you where it came from. Oh. White Knight came by yesterday. She left and, well, forgot to take it with her. I can see that being a problem. Figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Hmm. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Gil or Jill? Gil or Jill? Jillian or Gillian? Jillian? They're both called Jill? Or Gillian. They look like they're both called Jill, but they're actually both not called Jill. We'll never know. 
yeah, the traffic was... Bleh! Don't run, you have work to do. <laughs> Ooh, that's a spicy one. Hong Kong? Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The, the where the what now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense this past couple of days. She's somehow relaxed now. Good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Jukebox three. Did we get new? Did we get new? Was that noise? I think we got any new We're ready. That took time. We're ready. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh shit, he's back. Uh, uh. Hey brat, your luck. In luck, I decided to bless this place again. Lucky says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? Gee, I wonder what he... <laughs> You want the beer? You, you want the beer?
Oh. And that's maxed. Oh. Here you go. Yes! Now that's what I call service. It's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me, like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I should play shoes with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too, how did that come about? There's this gal that's performing a concert later tonight. Yesterday I was tuning the details, tuning, tuning the details of the interview I'd had with her today, oh. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. We've come a long way in the departments of Lilim sex appeal, I tell you. She was a Lilim then? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. Uh oh. Well. I wouldn't mind finding out about that. Must well. Hmm? Hey you, the guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, 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 wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. So I was in Hong Kong, talking with some investors. Those damn riots broke out. Seriously though, did they really think the laws that they were trying to pass would backfire? Wow. They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. Ah! No matter how many, they have different capabilities you put in between. It's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation, like that, you're doomed. It's true. Especially in this day and age. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very, uh... laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was installing, installing fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember when I had to turn down the scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Heh, <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. Oh, go. It's uh, one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. Whoa, wonder why. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. Chinese is not easy. Chinese is hard. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. I wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. Someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might even have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine, Cantonese, what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of speak lots of speak speak Cantonese. So just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong, or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken in the majority elsewhere. 
I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal the deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyways, surely a student with the scholarship can serve me out Mars Blast too. Sure. On it. It's a, a moon blast? Mars Blast. It is a thing. Alright, four, one, six. No aldehyde. Blended, spicy, manly, strong. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. So I'm a bit interested in this interview you had. Can you tell me anything about it? You don't run any blogs, right? No microphones hiding between your boobs. Well, <laughs> do you have boobs at all? <coughs> There's this one blog I wrote when I was 12, but it just fills me with shame. So I try and forget it exists. Wow. Okay. It started with the same boring questions. How are you? Why choose this place? How's the city? The tour? The new single? Blah, blah, blah. It went by very quickly. It was the regular interview stencil as we call it in the business. So I tried some fun questions afterwards. How big are your tits? Is it true that you don't wear any underwear on stage? Are you still a virgin? How did she react? She answered them like it was the most natural thing on earth. I don't think I want to know what kind of questions other people have asked. I did it to get a reaction out of her, but she just took it in a stride. Huh? In case you were interested, the answers were 91 centimeters depends on the costume and no. I see. Her room backstage was filled to the brim with gifts of all sorts. Dolls, blue roses, chocolates, fruit. Pretty sure I saw at least three dildos in there too. Thanks for the info, I guess. Perhaps too much info, but thanks anyway. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. Spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically. When that encore concert happens, I need to blast what that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. There you go. Yeah, this works just fine. Man, that gal's producer was angry as fuck. Trying to negotiate with him was an asshole. <laughs> Had less problems. Dealing with SoCal Justice Wars. Who? SoCal Justice Wars, a mafia vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. What? Oh yeah, there's artificially blonde, artificially tan folks with big blonde objects, yeah. They're an interesting group, you know. They only accept people born or raised in South California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to. No normal person can run around in swimsuits in this cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works, but they're pretty sensitive too. Too many outlets have insulted them in the past, so they are trigger happy against defamation. Had a dozen guys in Speedos talking to me about some news while flaunting their bags of batteries. And they were still more polite than that producer guy. Think about it. Watching a banana hammock move at the same time as a bag of... As a bag... Batteries was more pleasant. What? I'm pretty sure there's a banana hammocks and bags of batteries audience somewhere though. Well, I'm out. <laughs> Thank you. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> Very funny. Did you check the internet for help? Oh god, did I? How to take off a Valkyrie type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query. Could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. What, did you just run out of air? I just realized you served Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see. There was a number. Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no God or Buddha, you can always trust Boss. Yeah. Let's hope you're right. Hey, honey. Can you see me? Uh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Chill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No. Hello. Oh, hello Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Uh, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? No. But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible? Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish. But my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that would make me invisible and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, we'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano cam camo mod dual. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nano technology to make. Sorry, they use nano technology! Sorry. To make fabric and other materials take any color or texture you want. Oh my god! You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with. That's pretty cool. Sounds interesting, maybe I'll look it up. What's that have to do with what you want to do though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked though. Almost to the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'll be an eerie surroundings colored blob. And we will let Lilum see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Pa -pa -pa piano, piano. It's done. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones. You know, I keep them for special occasions when I'm feeling good, when I need to get out of a slump. And today, today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then. How's this for bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in inviting and giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. Oh. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know? Huh? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we can hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. Consider a standing offer though. 
Oh, hey John. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you there here last Friday. I was uh, dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh yeah. Randomly put on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <coughs> Bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but usually you come before you start. Aw, oh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird? The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Really? Yeah, I... Go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. You should expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah. One day a year. For three years. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of his daughter's birthday. Wait, a second? Does he have a daughter or not? Had, seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yeah, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast. <laughs> what does my mouse get stuck on there? There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking it. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. Hey, did you say something, uh, see something about a concert outside? Concert? Yeah, now that you mention it, I remember seeing a line near the stadium a couple of blocks away. They couldn't take their eyes off me, so I took some photos with them. Oh, why'd you ask? Someone was here just a minute ago. Says he was interviewing the star of the show. Really? What kind of person is the star? Some girl. You didn't tell me her name. Seems she's a king class CH1A. Oh. What's with that reaction? Nothing. It's just that the CH1A is the model that comes after mine. Really? Yeah. They think that they're so important because they have more sensitivity points in their skins. Because their voice modulators are more advanced. They do. No, I'm just kind of jealous that they do. I had to mod myself to have what they've got from the get-go, you know? Wait, they don't make DFC-72s like you anymore? My line is quite alive and well, thank you very much. The difference with the CH-1A is that mostly a sacrifice functionality for appearance. They don't have an expansion port in their heads, and their senses and abilities are more akin to those of humans. They're mostly for human stand-ins, while my line is slightly more work-oriented. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, I think I saw that concert poster outside the bar. Poster? You work here, you should know which one. I kind of forget that. The entryways from time to time, all because of Didi and Google. The vending machines outside, they, they blabber so much I've learned to ignore everything, anything on the door. Oh, here I was wondering why their volumes were reduced so much. They're interesting to talk with, they just talk so much. 
can actually get physically sick from listening to them for too long. Good evening, Jill. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. He is called Jill. He's called Jillian. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit you'll hear a cling if you're shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day. Today, and I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut bunch. Come on, don't be stingy. After something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge every time she addresses people. Okay, then, let me get your orders. There's a next button? Okay. They want gut, gut punch. Gut punch. S serve! Here and here. Thank you. All in order, thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something? Uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient car with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you, it's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I never asked before. Is it true that the FC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines and the other person's, uh, after, well, uh, after they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? Ah, uh, yeah. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of DFC-72s who, who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so that much... So if many tracking machines are still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. It's also this urban myth that these nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going, I'm gonna leave you with the me. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? Something's fucking... Smack that microphone. She's so earnest about what she does, it's kind of hard to not root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. But I'm gonna go and take my... Jill! I need your girly hands for a second here. 
Coming. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time for your break. Nah, don't worry about it. Sorry, I'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Jill's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast. Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by alcohol. Al accident. Black, black, black accident. Black accident. Wait. What? Yeah. Bitter and mind numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war. You fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to a war. Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to be... doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm. Aren't you worried about police or whatever? Well, first of all, I try and keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble so I don't raise, raise suspicion. And finally, you thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard to not mind that if you just said... Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got a mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost the original, fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn. Still don't know that. You ever tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because it's, she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, brick. All right. Nice. Wow, we can have twenty four. 24 saves. Boss should clean the chicken buckets she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. You could take a couple minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of avoiding the warranty. <laughs> Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. <laughs> yes, it's open, great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening, uh, what kind of place is this? Do I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta, kinda, yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar, nice, nice. Can I get you? Uh, I don't know, I, I don't drink that much to be honest. Uh, what do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can live with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter. Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. We have that thing, right? Uh, 
Sunshine Cloud. Try this. Yep, this will do just fine, thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by? I'm the star that always shines in the night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. Kira Mickey. I'm Kira Mickey. So, should I call you Miss Mickey or Miss Kira? No, you're, no, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Mickey. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Mickey, okay? Okay. Kira. Mickey? No, 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 no. I'll put more spirit into it. Kira? Mickey? Almost there. Kira? Mickey. Kira? Mickey. Kira? Mickey! Kira? Mickey! <laughs> Alright, that's it. You feeling it? Kira? Mickey! Kira? I can't do it any longer. And don't you ever forget it. What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where, where are we, Jamie? J right, I was just telling you. Oh, you Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert with it. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on the concert tonight? I'm one Lilum who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum that you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, we were making last preparation for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while the thing that's going on, so I just decided to leave. You know, I saw a film the other day with the Beatles in where this exact thing happened. I saw one of the concerts posted outside and decided to check this place out. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will. It's not the first time I've done this. Just having a bit of a thresh, you know? He still needs me to do the concert anyway. That's... How big is the concert? We plan to do a bit over a uh, hundred thousand people today and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. That's nice. I remember there was a... Was it a comedy tour that I was watching? And every time they sold out, they would just open another night in the same venue. It's really nice. Over 100,000, isn't that many? What exactly is this? Hold on. Then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Mickey, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh! I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol-free? No, I mean soft as in soft. Soft? Let me see what I can get you. Got any soft drinks? Got any soft... A fedora with perfume and a plum. There it is, Sunshine Cloud. It's, it's soft. But type? No. Flavor? So boring. Blue Jane, okay. Blue Fairy? Alright. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical while mixing drinks? <laughs> yeah, you know, like uh, spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped out of his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. 
Yeah, but don't underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible. It can be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep it in mind. Uh huh. Hey, is this class important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. You are sure or not? Yes. Do as you please. Okay. Who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Jill would like it though. Your name, girl. Oh, for Jill then. For Jill. Never lose your star. From Kira McKee. Ah, oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. They make a pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember once... Uh, I remember once... One once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. And she fails to see the problem. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, no wait, it isn't. Yeah, you get me. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they'd ask for Your Love is a Drug is an Encore, though. Sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets are worth a ridiculous price, you know. Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah. One time I bought some expensive coffee at this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. The worst coffee I have ever, 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 ever had. Sorry. Person or joke? Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Do you have a... a bit of sobering? Also, I haven't put any alcohol in any of these drinks, so she's, she's fine, dog. Try this. Yeah, this works. So how is it? Could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so. Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but. Huh? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Mickey, I was very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part time at bars at the jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Going from jazz piano to idol? Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue that it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band and performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids, adults, men, women, they all have access to my music. I can reach every single one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. I like to listen to music while working, lyrics distract me. 
Besides, this always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'll give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any left at the moment. The war about it. Okay, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, John. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Should be alright. Yeah, it should be fun. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but honestly, I don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. No, I'm just a good thing, right? Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during the wrestling year days. You're, uh... That's what they called me during the time in the Grand Slam fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads! Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. Point! We're in! How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? The client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. Just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Jill's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking. Please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fall of service! Thirty percent commission. Damn, son. What happens when Jill gets distracted? What happens when Jill gets distracted? What I do to relax by Mickey. It's been very hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops. I'm on the road so much of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze, see the beautiful vista. It makes me f think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime. You name any tasty and natural combination, I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show, though. I would like to ruin your evening. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Dome concert. Hey everyone, you ready for the dome concert? I sure am. Performing Raj Large, the number of venues, concerts every year. And even then I can't help but be excited every time. Half one around the corner. It's all thanks to you. Thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm gonna perform all of your favorite songs. Please be excited. Just one little request. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Thanks, GC. Oh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love, I can feel the optimism in the air. Heart emoji. Heart emoji. Heart emoji. Heart emoji. Heart emoji. <laughs> After all the struggles, you still came to see me and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that I'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agent agency approved it. It's by far our biggest show and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Heart emoji. Heart emoji. Oh, Mickey. Not Kira Mickey? How dare you. Thank you. 
Um, you got time for a little bit more. Might go until the break. Or maybe... Game? Oh, hi there. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. What is this art style compared to this art style? Who drew this? Alma? Ah, Leonidas. Jillian. Marcelo. I stumbled across her on my way and I asked her if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's Boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but I guess you're back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Oh. I have like the exact same songs there, but what was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction that kind of stuck. Huh? I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. To G. To G. I assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That's Kiramiki girl came in here yesterday before a concert, actually. Oh yeah, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. The stoic looking duo, right? Yeah, it is. Ugh, seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up with... You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like this guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss, the ones filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true! Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Oh, I really like this one of us sleeping in our office. I think I'll copy it. You- Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? Sure. This is one big ba- Are you hitting on me? You wish. <laughs> so who's Damien again? The one with the nice car? Sure he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. What was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. LARP? Live action roleplay? Sounds more like the nickname of some heavy handed writer. Or a military organization. What did he roleplay as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. If I stay with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see? That's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time, you're still getting to know him. Thinking about it, you end your longest lasting relationships and things like those. 
Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever. I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night? Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Fuckboy? People have different needs and priorities. Yeah, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow? Mixing your perfume with theirs? Putting your head on their chest? Listening to them breathe as they pet your head? Dozing off knowing that they're there, watching you, protecting you? Jill? Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking, or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? Uh, ventrilo ventriloquism. Weird, a weird drink. Yeah, something different, experimental, uncommon. Let's see. There it is. Piano Boy. Yes, yeah, fits the bill. It's a promotional drink, made to commemorate a movie. No, it's not. Read. Read. Red, they leapt at a chance to sell drinks that would be unmarkable, marketable otherwise. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini and then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep in the routine into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? I stopped the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech that they've prepared just for occasion like this. As always, I'm very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves, I just remember that it was pretty just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist site entity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything, what everyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what it's essentially a pet. A pet the press made up. The anti... The antithesis... The antithesis of your usual bogeyman, if you must. So, you don't think such a person exists? Don't know? Don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity, but it might be anything, an individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but also a really muddy dog for all. There's something else that worries me though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me. And that's thanks to this damned Alice Rabbit thing. Let's see. But enough of that. There's more pressing matter I have. There it is. Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for too long. Oh! No. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you just can't say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. 
Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's not fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is like 10 a.m., you know? That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. I just looked up and saw this. Anyway, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big brown tea. Finally, that's the Alma I know. Here. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to be re uh, re to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of the brand of vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So, on a weird whim, they changed the name. I see. Jill. Huh? G ooh, ooh. That would be 4A696C6C. C. Or O one O O one O one O O one one O one O O one O one one O one one O O O one one O one one O O in binary. You have fifteen ones. Did you celebrate your quince quin fifteenth birthday party, Angel? Don't think so. What about your sweet sixteen? Did you do anything special for that? Nope. And your 18th or 21st? Nope, none of those. I saw no point in making them any different from the other birthdays. Oh, but they're different. How so? They celebrate your budding sexuality. It's the point at which society tells you that you can fuck. That you're starting to look appealing enough for other people to consider fucking you. It's also the hypocritical way that they tell you you can, but shouldn't fuck. I guess that's one way of seeing it. Although there's no point in celebrating those so late. There was this one time in middle school I got fed up with the teacher. I was in the 8th grade, the idiot kept treating me like a child. So one day I adjusted my shirt, pushed my boobs together with my arms and told him, Teacher, you do know you could get me pregnant, right? Poor bastard couldn't look at me for the rest of the year. I also got suspended, scolded, grounded, but it was totally worth it. I was a blossoming woman, and I wasn't going to stand for it. This is why I like numbers. Numbers don't await your sexual awakening, just to tell you later that you shouldn't be sexual. Numbers never betray you. They don't cross you. They don't expect you to form a family or give them grandkids. You think a 27 cares if you have a Catholic wedding? No, but I care that you're drunk. I am most certainly not. Then spell your name. 416C6061. Uh, is that right? Not in hexadecimal. A. L. M. I'll call you a cat. I'll be fine, I'm going home now. My brother in law is close by, he told me to call him when I was done. Bye, Jill. Take care out there. Hello, sugar. Ow. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck, and that's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something like he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry, you're safe. You're flatter than the field at my summer house. A bit of advice? You shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks or food. And don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this a quick one. Gotta go tend to business in a while. 
Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual. Sure, this will work. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of the other outlets, but in the end, the result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find when you go out when you get the right people drunk. Huh? Hey, the signature's on that glass over there. Ah, oh yeah. That big titted Lillum was here? She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? Nope. Gossip worthy? Nope. Tabloid worthy? Nope. <laughs> come on, it has to be something. Well, I love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it would be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here, anything. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Everyone has a price. How much we can smell the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing. That could be used against her or that you didn't you already know. Fine. Hey kid, do you think Lilim have nipples? Excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know? So yesterday, while interviewing the single Lilim chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. But I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on the women were good? A bunch of guys and a lesbo engineer wondering if the latest model's vagina is good enough? Man, god bless those son of a bitches. Um, any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when I wouldn't share your scoop of the singer? How can one share what, what there is honestly nothing to share? Uh huh. I'm going to be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read that manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece. Even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob... Oh, no. I think I heard that somewhere. Was that... What of them? They sent a message to some outlet saying they have proof of their claims. That they're going to release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. Alright. Alright, kid. Give me a Bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Blend. Blend. Yes. Bleed gin. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. Uh, so I heard this is Dana Zane's buy. Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some air uh, bears? Six years ago, a cash-strapped Zara Adana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten engraved grizzly bears, she beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk, bored, what can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm, though? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had a prosthetic then, too. I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. But that sounds more like an under unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Donna, thank her for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Break.
Oh, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything alright? As alright as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'd be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything is being put in order. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure that you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of all of us. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me headaches, he said. Yeah. What about Jill? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who bought a levitation potion and threw himself off a building. Ah yes, the levitation potion story. Use weird euphemisms, Moth. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that Jill will find a job after all this. Just who is Jill? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting the pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes sir. Jill. You guys know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? It is indeed. Welcome to the Valhalla. Oh god. What is Say planning now? Excuse me? I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? Sure. Piano, piano, piano. There you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So, you know, say, Miss Anstella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yeah? Yeah, in fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this place, this here, last time. Oh god, she left her helmet behind again. Not the first time, huh? Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Well, quite a few people. It says as much of a sociable girl as she is a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious, she's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. You should recommend this place to you all. We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Say, is that Kira Miki's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday, just before the concert. Really? I mean, she did. Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep, that Starlight signature is hers. So your, your name's Jill, then? Yep. Ain't this nice. Here you go. Do you like him, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Luckily, I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time that I went to see Slayer? And I had to buy, like, resale tickets? That were, like, £100? And then I lost my phone at the gig. Quote-unquote lost. And all my money. Yeah. Most expensive gig I've ever been to. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello, who the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. Will it take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it I was safe? Yep. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. 
one that was prepared in the memory of its creator's dearest friend. Alright, that's a piano man. Why oh, know this stuff? We are more friendly in this location. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Thank you. May I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eyes. No, it's not, or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. So I had to be done, otherwise I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it though. I'm sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. So you seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I guess I've read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. But their colours, their stories, the way they need to you need to keep them stored, their designs. It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah, I started with my grandpa's collection. I've been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody I don't tend to drink much. I see. Sorry, I'm late. Welcome. Stella, you took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. We got caught in rush hour traffic too and figured walking might be faster. Luckily there was a building with emergency stairs nearby and climbed down. Climbed down? Took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no. Flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, I'll be the first... You'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... You're at it again. You and your cryptic orders is always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey! I expect only the best from whoever serves me. They need to be able to answer these kind of orders. So I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out here with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, really. Really? Thank you. Whatever. Please order something normal, would you? That'll be two fringe weavers, then. You'll have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. What? So like half a glass for each? Isn't it better if we have one each? Don't worry, you'll see. Big ones? Or just regular ones? What is that noise? Is that a slam? Someone slam. So, this one's for you and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for you, right? Oh, that way. Could have said so earlier. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be safe for when the one you're using breaks or functions, then you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know? Yeah, sorry. Should I say that boss got a head stuck because of a jammed button? Speaking of money, are you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep. Are you worried? I'll refrain from that. 
I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be, it'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air, lately it's been hard to know if it's true. As if the fear mongering wasn't enough, the people have started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. <sighs> Everyone's on edge. Yep. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher ups. Tell me something if somebody came after me. Oh my god. You think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but. I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what, after I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can vent all your frustrations. Alright. It seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You coming safe? Nah, no, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then. Take care. Bye. She's such a worry one. I mean, she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Um, bacon? Not that I mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? Must have grabbed onto it from one of the ingredients. I see. Did you believe all that stuff about tension and screwing? About that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. Kind of business. From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Some even say that the, some will even say the ones that get to do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified more security. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on. Zaibatsu Corp's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Something about the Associates' fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like that job. And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately they seem restless. Too much politics, huh? It hurts my brain, I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel, my colonel needed to relay some information to the manager and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, you're such a simpleton that you'll never give the wrong message. But it's his intention that counts. Oh. Finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances, you're disturbing other clients. Oh, come on, you know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. Uh-huh. It's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start gra grabbing me, you could say. You having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then, I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both, one for each. Alright. Two fairies. Hey, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue, like your hair. It is! So what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. Alright, Say. I'm Dorothy. Say Say. Yes, yes. Say Say. Yes, yes. Say Say. Say Say. Say, why didn't you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes Fuckboy over there. What do you mean? 
trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here, in what looks like your work attire tells me, that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down on your priority list to notice its, ex its existence. So she invited me to drink because you found me cute. That's the extent of it. I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh yeah, the little one with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid in that. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with things it shouldn't ha even have. Your tongue is BEB069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiant radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. What about them? I don't know how, how modern your body is and your clothes, the tongue, the joints, the skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIRD113 of Realty Industries, a model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. So? Clause G of Article 17 of the Augmentations and Modifications Law on the Topic of Ballistic Augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under the civilization, civilian designation that has upgraded of its person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or high will be either be commissioned in the or sent to danger zones. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Eh? Not in law enforcement. I just do rescue even if I was not on duty right now. Oh. I wanna know though, why go through with that upgrade? A uh, girl's gotta take care of herself, you know? I wanna be able to deal with things if they get ugly, and this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay then, I'll give you some advice. I guess. The reason I could tell is not your default hand model, it's your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You can get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, use of course. Oh, I see. Well, I gotta go. Ah yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once it's self-defense, anything more is assault. Yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye-bye. Please come again. Hey, thought she was gonna take me away. They put me my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years. Two if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. One tempts to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue? Very prehensile. Intuitive. Also it vibrates. Extra flexible joints. Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating? Hey, my skin is the first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. It makes it feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Alright then. So you fancy yourself a diviner reading people at all? Not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a little one. What can you say about me then? Let's see then. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather that the partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know who won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on it. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on a fly. All of that was just rubbish I say because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullshit if you will. You'd be surprised the amount of time of, you'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more of insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am, but if you'd let me satisfy your fr frustrations, I could stall for some more time. And go, fine, fine, bye bye. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One of the wonder one wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy. Everything done? Yep. 
Hey boss, this might seem random, but do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract yet? Yeah, now for some reason I've been hung up on it since this morning, I just realised why. The visage that welcomed me back was Jill, trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh yeah, that! I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my hand in and it got stuck. It was a friend's jar too, if I couldn't just break it. Hey Jill, how'd you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, and that brings me onto the random thought. That incident, the helmet yesterday, how many times you get your foot stuck on something for stomping it? Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh? Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. And there was the incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that should have labeled the Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the 5Z piece. Still, Jill's on something here. <coughs> yeah, she is. Now go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. Zero mistakes. Nice. Tips 850. Flawless service bonus. This one worries me. Everything will turn out alright in the end, don't worry bonus. $300. What? So she's your childhood friend? It's just like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> Alice Rabbit might be a Kira Mickey fan, and who isn't? That's enough for one day. That's a lot of talking. That's a lot of word. Um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching the live video if you came to watch the live video. Thanks for watching the VOD if you came to watch the VOD. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.